Welcome to my channel. I'm Gary Wuryawan and today I'm in Seattle, Washington, United States. We just arrived from Indonesia. It's quite a very long flight from Indonesia and it was really tiring and we are currently jet lag right now. But still, I want to squeeze a little bit of photography time here in Seattle, Washington. So this is part of my everyday photography challenge where every day I try to squeeze a little bit of photography time. Not exactly every day, but as often as I can and try to make the most out of the photographs that I take. And yeah, hopefully with this kind of videos, I can encourage you to take more pictures wherever you are. If you are interested to participate in the challenge, you can submit your pictures to the link right here. And I will also put the card above for the link for the submission for the everyday photography challenge. And today I thought I want to try to take some pictures of the Space Needle and also around the Lake Union area. We'll see what we can find out here. For my gear, it's very simple, just the Panasonic GX85. And today I think I just want to use the 35 to 100 millimeter f4 to f5.6 but maybe i will try to squeeze a little bit time for the 12 to 32 millimeter as well let's start with today's photo shoot all right so we are in the lake union area and right there as you can see that's the space needle the very iconic tower in seattle washington right here and i thought i want to try to photograph that tower with the gx85 and the 35 100 i'm trying to do a very quick composition right here a vertical one just trying to aim at the tower and then try to use the three branches right there as sort of a, a framing element um, so for the camera setting it's just f5.6 100 millimeter aperture priority auto iso auto shutter speed very simple composition like this let's try i think it looks nice it looks beautiful all right i'm gonna move a little bit forward and try try to kind of get the balance uh, three branches right there let's try it again really nice really nice one more time all right all right so i'm still trying to photograph the space needle but this time from a different vantage point it's nearby the previous location i'm just moving a little bit to the right so something like this still the same camera setting 100 millimeter f5.6 aperture priority i'm trying to get the tower with a little bit of the tree branches and also that tree on the bottom as sort of a framing device to help to make the picture prettier with a telephoto lens you can really isolate the subject without having to worry about people entering your frame and that kind of thing right looks really nice very simple composition nothing really crazy but let me try to capture it in horizontal composition like this maybe zooming out a little bit to about 80 millimeter or 90 millimeter something like this let's try zooming in to 100 not much of a difference but just sort of an alternative i still prefer the vertical one because i think it is a stronger composition but nevertheless i love it all right right i think i found a nice scenery right here with the sun right there it's a little bit of a uh, backlight situation but i don't really care i just want to try to capture uh, this hill with the buildings right there that part of the seattle town and maybe a little bit of that greenery area that park over there i'm gonna try to capture it with the 35 to 100 we'll see i haven't found a nice composition yet but i'm just going to try to experiment I, I found out that if I zoom out to 35 millimeter, I can get that reflection right here. We're gonna try for that and see how it turns out. There's this little pond right here that I wanna try to use. But otherwise, I think this looks nice. Same setting, f5.6 aperture priority. I keep everything else automatic, like it that way. I'm gonna add a little bit of that building on the right as sort of a foreground of interest maybe we'll see all right so over there as you can see there are so many boats and I want to try to capture them again using the 35 to 100 I'm zooming in all the way to 100 and I'm trying to include one of the boat on the right as sort of a foreground of interest so still same setting f5.6 aperture priority keep everything else automatic Let's try vertical. 
I'm gonna use this pair as sort of a leading line. It's not really that clean, but we'll ju we're just gonna try something like this maybe. I don't know if this picture is going to work or not, but we'll just we're just gonna try. That's the whole point of this video. Alright, maybe a little bit to the uh, upper part of the frame. Now let's try bottom part of the frame. Now let's just focus on those little boats on the distance. Something like that, very simple. Alright, so potentially another potential uh, kind of image right here. I want to try to capture these yachts together, these boats, and I want to try to uh, kind of use a wide angle lens this time. So I'm switching to the 12 to 32 millimeter, still in aperture priority at 5.6 at 12 millimeter. I'm going to try to capture these boats with those hills as a background and also that hill right there on the left as a background with this beautiful sky. It's been really a beautiful day here in Seattle today. It was so nice. It's sunny. Something like this. Very simple. It's just beautiful. I like this very simple horizontal composition. I'm thinking to go a little bit tighter to maybe 18 millimeter. Let's try. So yeah, something like this I think works really nice. Makes the boat a little bit stronger on the uh, on the image. So not too small and just overall more pronounced. And yeah, I'm gonna try to uh, capture that area right there, but maybe I will need a longer lens. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to switch to the 35 to 100 again. All right, I'm back with the 35 to 100 right now, and I'm going to try to zoom in on this uh, patio area or that pier area, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to contrast it with the hills on the back and sort of create this, you know, uh, foreground, background layering kind of situation. As you can see right here, I'm at 100 millimeter. I think this works really nice and just horizontal composition to further emphasize the uh, relationship between the foreground and the background like so really nice all right I think I'm quite happy with this image all right so this will be the last shot of the day because uh, the sun's already setting on the uh, west right there and uh, we got this nice beautiful glow on the sky and it was kind of exploding with this pink orange and blue color together so i want to try to uh, capture this boat again and this time i will try to use uh, the 35 to 100 at 100 millimeter f 5.6 aperture priority i got this boat right there in front of me and that i that i want to capture so i'm going to try to do a horizontal composition I'm trying to wait for the boat until they get to the perfect position something like this all right let's try to capture it Again, aperture priority f5.6, auto ISO, auto shutter speed. I'm getting a quite high ISO right here, ISO 2500, but that's not a big deal. I'd rather get a shot that's noisy rather than not getting the shot at all. Nice. So there's a school of duck right there, either duck or goose right there that group that's uh, kind of walking not walking but swimming on the lake right now i want to try to capture it 100 millimeter uh, 35 to 100 at 100 millimeter f 5.6 uh, aperture priority i got about iso 1600 with auto iso so i'm going to wait until they are somewhere in the middle of the lake this is 100 millimeter let's try to zoom out a little bit i'm trying to wait until the ducks uh, kind of get into the perfect position where I can use them as foreground layer with the boat as mid ground and the hill uh, behind as sort of the background something like this all right I think I got it wow nice I think those are really nice pictures so far maybe they're not yet perfect but these are 
what I really want from my travel pictures to be able to relate it to my memory and somehow when I take a look at them when I go back to Indonesia I will feel like I'm being in Seattle again that's the whole point of my travel photography and I think I want to wrap up this video right now because I'm jet lag and I'm just going to have a quick dinner and then go back to the hotel and rest and we're gonna continue to explore Seattle again tomorrow so stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog so yeah that's all for today's video I hope that today's video is inspiring and useful for you uh, if you have any question please feel free to comment down below and I will try to answer them also don't forget to join the everyday photography challenge don't forget to submit your picture into this link right here and i will feature your pictures on one of my next videos in the future don't forget to support my channel by liking this video sharing this video and subscribing to my channel down below thank you and see you on the next video goodbye